An Acadiana man is questioning why his LUS water bill is over $2,000. He says he shouldn't have to pay because the LUS water meter was not working. As News 10's Rodrigo Taylor found out, the man is challenging LUS to take responsibility for their broken equipment. It's a story you'll see only on 10. Imagine turning on the water and nothing comes out. Well, that's what happened to Jeremy Laverne. It was all because of an error here with his water meter. He had no idea it wasn't working properly. Now he must pay five years worth of bills. The meter was, was faulty. It, it shouldn't have taken them five years to figure that out and then all of a sudden put it off on the customer like, like it's, it's my fault. Laverne says his water bill was over $2,000. What they did was they, they took the reading of the meter now and they calculated from the last time that they had um, an accurate reading on the meter. And that basically shows how much water I used. He wonders if it's the customer's responsibility to notify the company of their equipment. Most people. Look at the cost, pay it, be done with it. When his water was disconnected Thursday, it threw everyone into a panic. Never received a call from LUS stating that we're about to get disconnected. Nothing, just out of the blue, randomly turned off. He says he made a call to the mayor president's office and spoke with someone who claims Laverne was only paying for service charges rather than the water bill. If there were service charges, then why do they fluctuate? From month to month. His water was turned back on after three hours. I've never in my life seen them come out in that, that fast of a time to, to reconnect water. However, he wonders if that would have been the case without being persistent. Had I not been the person that I was and made the phone call that, that I made, you know, things could have, could have turned out a, a lot worse than what they were. We tried to talk to LUS about their equipment and his bill, but they declined an on-camera interview. LUS spokesperson Alex Antonio, which says they will work with Laverne and spread the payment. In Karen Crow, Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY, News 10. Rodrigo, thank you. LUS has only about a week and a half to work out a new payment schedule for them. Laverne's next payment is due August 23rd.